What's going on guys? We're going to be going over the best passing concept from the near close flex in Madden 21. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses on helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my channel. Now in this video, we're gonna be going over the place smash out of the near close flex. And if you wanna get my entire uh, West Coast offensive scheme, then you can get that by texting the word Madden to my cell phone number, which is 208-218-6900. Or if you just wanna sign up for my text message membership, that's all you have to do to do that. And we release new schemes every single week to our text message members completely for free. So if you wanna get access to all of those videos just text the word madden to 208-218-6900 all right guys so the play smash uh this concept is unbelievably good and we're gonna run this uh you notice at the beginning of the video that i showed my zone drops i've got my cloud flats on 30 my uh, curl flats on 10 and my hook curls are on 10 as well and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply smart route this x receiver uh, we like to streak the circle receiver, and then I'm going to uh, ghost route my uh, back that's on the right side here, just like this. And the snap of the ball, I, I typically like to double team the most outside guy that I possibly can, and I like to ID the outside corner um, just to kind of get the protection to go this direction. But what you're going to see is this X receiver is going to get absolutely naked um, against that coverage. Now, I do want to cover one little piece um, of the puzzle here. And that is that if you're playing someone that's really, really good at Madden, one of the things that you're going to notice that they're going to do is they are going to do something uh, essentially along these lines against a formation like this. They're going to basically run uh, cover two Mabel. Um, so you're going to see it's going to look basically like uh, this right here. And then they're just going to basically sit in the middle of the field. So this is the coverage. As you can see, it's basically a cover three um, cloud type Mabel coverage and um, or Tampa two style. And I just want to go over, this is the reason why I really like this ghost route. And again, you're going to see we're going to double team as far outside as we can get. And we're going to ID out as outside as we can get. And if you watch this corner, you can basically pass this down and away. And you're going to be able to hit this. Another little trick, um, another little trick for glitching out this defense. And honestly, I will tell you straight up. This right here is the best way uh, for the defense to be able to defend this play. Like this defense right here, probably the best way for them to defend this, which is going to open up a lot of other things down the road. But just wanted to go over this real quick. So what we can basically do is we can not smart route the route. So you'll see that's going to allow it to go a little bit deeper. Everything else is the same. We're going to ID as far as we get. Um, but what you'll see is it's going to give this guy a lot of room to run on the sideline. Um, now, real quick, one of the challenges to regs is you don't have, um, you just don't have like the ability to scramble outside the pocket with your quarterback as well with this team um, because I've got Brady. But I'm going to do my best to show this to you. But basically, what we want to do is we want to turn this quick corner into more of a delayed corner. And you'll see that I'm just going to roll outside of the pocket and pass lead this up just like that. That's what we're looking for. And that right there is the beauty of this formation. It's what makes it so good is when you start to see them dropping a lot of people back in coverage and putting those 30-yard clouds on the field, they can't defend the rollout as well because they just don't have the blitzers to be able to do that. So all I have to do is double team here and then ID on the far outside. And basically what you're going to see is we're going to run essentially a seven-man uh, pass protection with a ghost route just like so at the snap of the ball I'm just going to start rolling out to the sideline and you'll see just pass lead that up and look at how deep of a corner that is that's a very special uh, little concept now what I would recommend is if you are in let's say you're in weekend league or let's say you're in mutt I would 100% recommend um, using RG3 with escape artists in this offense and the biggest reason why is because it can help you significantly get out of the pocket. Like, if you want to be able to get out of the pocket, that's the best way that I know how. You'll see here, again, we're just going to scramble, pass lead that up. That Look how open that is. It's, it's not, 
especially in Mutt, it's not going to be click on and pick picked as much as you would think because the rollout and the combination of the rollout and the ghost route really takes us away. But again, the base alignment is really where they're going to have an, the best opportunity to be able to play this. So let me show you another uh, base aligned defense. This is a cover four um, where they're matched, basically a cover four Mabel. And I just want to go over this as much as I can. Um, you're going to see that we probably are going to do a little bit better of a job here. So I'm just going to get out of the pocket. And you're going to see here that the corner, the, the outside quarter did play it uh, pretty good. Let me show this one more time. So uh, this is another adjustment that they can make. Now the outside uh, quarters, I will say, they're going to play it a little bit better in a base alignment. Again, I want to be clear in saying this is about base alignment. Okay, base. they have to at least do that. But let me just show um, the concept. And again, the biggest thing that you can do to help your zone, uh, the zones, is to get out of the pocket. So you see here, I'm scrambling, 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 pass lead on the corner. And I have, a, I have a little bit of a window to throw that. Now, if you have Gunslinger and Escape Artist and you're rolling out with RG3, that's going to be a lot different than if you're not. Now, I will say, if you see this look, I would say, you know, you can still put the routes out there, but there's so many other things that are going to be open um, than just the, the corner route. Um, another thing I want to just kind of briefly hit on is if they're not in cover two, and I know you're not going to know, right, but... Um, if, if, if they're not having a tendency to be in cover two, then you can just, again, scramble out. Smart route, the corner route, you see it kills cover four. It kills cover four, cover three. The only thing is the base line Tampa two will do a decent job. Now, I just want to show the smart route of corner one more time against base line uh, cover two. And, again, all we're going to do is just ID or uh, ID the furthest most outside guy. Double team right there. Put the ghost right out there. And as soon as we snap, we're rolling outside the pocket. You see here, we can still throw this ball over the top. So you can leave the smart route of corner on it um, and, and be fine. Now, you might be asking, you know, how does this play do against man-to-man? -man? Um, specifically, like, what if they got in my face and they, they blitzed the crap out of me, right? What, what, what would this do against that? Man coverage is going to do a decent job. Um, if you have... Uh, tight end, um, oh gosh, what am I trying to say? Um, if you have a tight end, you can put him on a delayed drag, and that's going to help a little bit against man-to-man -man coverage. So what you're going to see is we're going to really get out here with our, our um, pass protection, snap of the ball, we're getting out of the pocket, getting out of the pocket, and you'll see that this drag, um, the drag coming back across, or the delay fade, is going to be wide open in a rollout situation. So you're going to have that. The other thing that you're going to have, and I don't know that Mike Evans will be able to do this as well as Chris Godwin would, but the other thing that you are going to be able to have is if you get out of the pocket, if I can get out of the – gosh dang it, Brady. It's kind of one of those tricky things. It's almost like you want to, like, take a step, and then you want to basically, like, hit the right trigger. Um, with, with slower quarterbacks like Rodgers and Brady, what you want to do is you want to basically – like tap it and you'll see they'll get out of the pocket a little bit better but that's what we're looking for right there on the sideline easy dot over the top of the man coverage if godwin is there that's also much more open um, but it does beat man to man is what i'm getting at especially if you put an ability on it now you might ask like if if they're running um if they're running some kind of like match coverage what we can do i'm going to show you um this actually is a really really good formation for uh, match coverage in particular. And I'm just going to, on my near close flex, I'm gonna swap out uh, Godwin and, and Evans so that you can see this a little bit better. So if they run match coverage, uh, like quarters type coverage, this is always a good play for things like corner routes and things like that. So you will see this, especially if they know what you're doing out of this offense. What you can do, I just wanna show you the base concept and then we'll go over and adjust what you can make. So, snap the ball, get out of the pocket, and you see that the the outside quarter doesn't cover it. Part of this is because of the um, part of this is because of the press, or not the press, the uh, compression of the formation. So, because the formation is compressed, um, it helps out a lot. So, uh, you'll see here that just the same exact concept really uh, is going to still be effective. So, that's all I'm doing: snap the ball. And then I'm just rolling out to the corner, and you see that the they don't they don't they kind of glitch out honestly. 
Um, the circle receiver also will get open on this, which makes this a really good match uh, match passing concept. This concept is just good all around. So you see here, I'm just double teaming, make sure I get out here an ID, and you'll see that this ghost route does a really good job. If you watch circle, um, you see right there, he leaves him. Now Brady doesn't have a cannon, but you can basically, as soon as you see this little movement from the safety, the safety will um, need to go down and guard the corner. So it's gonna leave this, it's gonna basically leave this streak wide open. So you see here, again, I get that double team, and, and then basically I'm just rolling out right there, pass lead to the right, click on, swerve it, and you're over the top of a Mabel, or not Mabel, but um, a match coverage. So this play literally beats everything. It's going to give your opponent headaches. They're going to have to do a lot to stop it. And the cool part about this is this is just one play. So this uh, smash concept, this, this is only one way to even run the smash concept, but this play is a powerful passing concept. It's really going to force your opponent to have to respect everything that you're doing out of this little near close flex type of formation. The best, um, the best thing that they can do is essentially run a baseline cloud flat at 30 yards and contain your rollout. Because the rollout is really what makes this a very special corner route because of the formation, you can get really good blocking and get out of the pocket. And then you can also, um, you also have that nice sharp corner route coming at a really nice little point. So I would encourage you to try this out. If you want to learn the rest of the West Coast Offensive Guide, just text me. My number is 208-218-6900. Or if you want to sign up for the text message membership where we give free um, offensive and defensive guides to you every single week, then you can just do that by texting the word Madden to 208-218-6900.